and welcome to today's virtual singing session with the Diocese of Leeds School Singing Programme. I'm Tom, I'm so pleased that you're all here singing today. I don't know about you, I feel fantastic when I've had a really good sing and I hope at the end of today's session you feel great as well. We're going to travel round the whole world now with some of the songs that we've learnt already. I'll be the leader, you join in, see if you can remember where some of these songs are from. Ooh, alele, ooh, alele, ooh, alele, ooh, alele, malatika tumba, malatika tumba, malatika tumba, malatika tumba, ooh, ale malu amalu e, ooh, ale malu amalu e, tongo, tongo, tongo. Staccato ones. Staccato. See if you can remember those musical words towards the end of the session. Staccato for spiky, legato for really smooth. Yesterday with Charlotte, you threw some supersonic darts. Now Charlotte has the most brilliant singing voice, doesn't she? We really enjoy singing along with her. And she can sing a lot higher than I can. As you get older, everything in your larynx in your voice box grows it gets bigger and thicker and for men in particular that means our voices get a lot lower when you're singing you need to be using your fantastic high voices that brilliant clear sound and when i'm singing i'll be a little bit lower so we're going to throw the darts in my low voice and in your high voice bow 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 your turn bow 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 this is as high as i can go with those Bow, bow, bow! Your turn. Bow, bow, bow! If we do that arch over our head, it really helpfully encourages the top of our larynx, our voice box, to tilt forwards. And that's what we want for a really good, relaxed sound. 
safe singing sound. So make sure you're doing the action. Let's do the dance one more time. And off we go. Bow, bow, bow. We're going to have a little stretch now. So put your hands together, pop them behind your neck, join up your elbows, and with your laser elbows, you're going to draw a number eight lying on its side. Keep your feet flat on the floor, your knees nice and relaxed. Keep breathing and draw that number eight on its side or the symbol for infinity. Let's go back the other way. I have never ever watched myself on a screen doing this. And it does look pretty weird, doesn't it? So let's go back the other way. Feel those tummy muscles stretching. Keep our knees relaxed. Keep breathing. When we're singing, it's really important to get rid of any tension that we don't need to have. Back the other way one more time. And now it's time for the pigeon choir. So get out your straws, puff out those cheeks. And in my low voice, I can copy the pitch that you do. I reckon you sound way better than I do. So at your high pitch, my low pitch, and off we go. Swap hands. Longer straw. Puff out your cheeks more. Keep breathing. just flop out and that encourages a really good easy breath. To finish off our warm-up we're going to sing three of the songs from the gospel medley. I absolutely love these ones. Oh when the saints swing low sweet chariot and I'm gonna sing and before we do them I've got two very important questions for you. The first and definitely the most important is which English football team are called the saints and the second is can you remember the musical words for Very Spiky and for Very Smooth? Yesterday, you sang this brilliant song by Alan Simmons with Charlotte, It's Lost in Space. Let's do it a line at a time. I'll sing, you sing back. Hello, control, can you hear me? There's a technical hitch inside the solar system. Your turn. Hello, control, can you hear me? There's a technical hitch inside the solar system. Fuel's running low, long way to go. Somebody help us or we'll never make it home. Fuel's running low, long way to go. Somebody help us or we'll never make it home. Answer me, control. We seem to have an error in the print of our computer bank statement. Answer me, control. We seem to have an error in the print Come in, please, galaxy. Do you read me? Thousands of miles away, floating in space. Come in, please, galaxy. Do you read me? Thousands of miles away, floating in space. And it ends without us ever finding. 
spinning out what happens, doesn't it? So if you notice, it doesn't sound like it's finished at the end. Hopefully it's got a happy ending. The third line, that bank statement one, is really tricky. So let's press slow motion, we'll slow it down and just get our mouths around those words and those notes. I'll sing it first and then you sing back for me. Answer me, control. Your turn. Answer me, control. We seem to have an error. We seem to have an error in the print of a computer bank statement. In the print of a computer bank statement. Shall we try doing the whole line slowly and then we'll put the whole song together? Answer me, control. We seem to have an error in the print of a computer bank statement. Well done. I hope you were able to get through all those tricky words that time. Let's do the whole song. After that, we're going to add some musical expression to help us tell the story when we, when we perform it. musical element song with the tempo getting quicker, the dynamics getting louder and softer. So let's add some of those loud and softs to make this really, really exciting. We're telling a story with a musical narrators while we're doing it. I think that first line should be pretty loud. Hello, control, can you hear me? Okay, let's try it loudly. <laughs> Grapes, 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 
Great, 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 great. What could have gone wrong in the great bit? If you said something like, we might have said great in the wrong time, or we might have said great when there should have been a silence. You're exactly right. So there's a little gap, great, 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 great. And in music, that gap is called a rest. Let's try doing the whole of the rhyme. If you know it well, you can do it as a round. So you can wait until I've got to the end of the apples, peaches bit. And when I start banana na, you start with apples, peaches. See if you can avoid squashing any of those grapes. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Banana na, 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 banana na, 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 na. Grapes, 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 grapes. Did you squash a grape? If you found that one really easy, next week I'm gonna do the one that ends with Chuck a chop a chicken or chop a chip up or chilly up. So you'll have to get practicing that one. For centuries, the church has marked May as a special month devoted to Mary. We started this beautiful hymn with Charlotte yesterday, and today we're going to sing three complete verses of it. Let's start with me singing you a line and you singing it back. Let's do the second line together and see if you notice anything about the tune for the second line. Let's do that together. That night was so wondrous, feels on our days. What did you notice about the tune? If you said something like, it's the same, you're absolutely right. So the first two lines have the same tune. And you'll notice that lots and lots of hymns, lots of songs have the same structure, the same musical form, with two lines the same, and then maybe a refrain at the end. Let's do the refrain. You'll remember from Charlotte's session, the words are Ave Maria, Hail Mary. And those are the first two words, the angelic salutation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The words that the angel Gabriel said to Mary at the Annunciation. Let's do the refrain. I'm sure you sang that beautifully smoothly. Do you remember the word for smooth in music? Legato. If we sang it spikily and staccato, it wouldn't fit at all with the prayerful atmosphere, would it? So we're going to sing all of this really legato. When you see the words on the screen, you could think about what dynamics, what volume you're going to use as well. Thank you. 
you sang that beautifully. Lourdes in France is a very special place of pilgrimage to Our Lady and the clock on the basilica even plays the Ave Maria tune every hour. There are lots of other places of pilgrimage that are really important too. In England you might have heard of Walsingham and for instance there's Montserrat in Spain and Fatima in Portugal. After such a calm and beautiful hymn, I think it's time to use up a little bit of energy to finish off with. Now, anyone who knows me well will know that I love animals and I particularly love cats. It's been great to see Lucy's cat, Hildegard, named after that famous composer from a thousand years ago. It's been great to see her featuring on some of these videos. This one is about a very noisy cat. I'm not sure that it's behaving terribly well. Maybe it's dancing too much. Anyway, it's certainly using up lots of energy. Say after me, boom said the cat, boom said the cat, and the cat said boom, and the cat said boom, boom boom shh cat, boom boom shh cat, don't be so loud, don't be so loud. Shall we try stitching two of those phrases together? So it goes like this, repeat after me, boom said the cat, and the cat said boom, boom said the cat, and the cat said boom, boom boom shh cat, don't be so loud. Boom, boom, shh, cat, don't be so loud. Let's do that once more. So we'll do two chunks at a time. I'll go, then you repeat. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom. Boom, boom, shh, cat, don't be so loud. Boom, boom, shh, cat, don't be so loud. I think we're ready to put all of that together. One, two, three, and go. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, 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 shh, cat, don't be so loud. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, 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 shh, cat, don't be so loud. To really test your coordination, can you clap on the word cat? So it's boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, 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 shh, cat, don't be so loud. Uh, one, two, three, and go. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, 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 shh, cat, don't be so loud. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, 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 shh, cat, don't be so loud. I think we should try stamping on boom. My floor is a little bit wobbly, so if the camera shifts around, I'm sorry about that. Even worse if I fall through the floor during it. One, two, three, and go. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, boom, boom. Shh, cat, don't be so loud. Boom, said the cat, and the cat said boom, boom, boom. Shh, cat, don't be so loud. Whew, that's a good one. And you can add some little catty noises and do it as a round as well and then you get this amazing effect like having a drum kit going but we're going to save that for a couple of weeks time thank you very much for tuning in and joining in today would you believe it since starting these sessions we've had over 12,000 people viewing the videos so it's been amazing so great to have so many people singing and joining in together Tune in to Sing With Lucy tomorrow. It's a really great session. I've had a little sneak preview of what she's doing. And make sure you like today's video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, get loads of people doing it, comment, tell us what you've enjoyed about it as well. And don't forget, you can follow us on our Twitter and Facebook pages. Thanks again. It's been great singing with you. See you next time. Bye.